Hi guys, so as you might know, it is currently Singapore's phase 2 heightened alert period which most people already regard as a lockdown. So this video was filmed during that time and actually I'm kind of late so by the time I release it we may not even be under lockdown anymore but I just thought that I would share a day of my life with you. This is that once in a lifetime doing my skincare for the day. This week hasn't been the easiest of weeks. I've been working on a lot of stuff. Um, so I just finished the camp with the Mongolia uh, students and it was really rewarding but it was also really tiring. So I slept in today and it was probably like the best feeling that I've had in the entire week just cause I finally got to rest. I think the good thing about like staying indoors these days is that I definitely do have some me time every day to kind of sort out my thoughts but um, because of how busy this whole week has been like work wise and commitment wise it's been really really hard for me to sit down and really process what's going through my head these days and uh, I haven't really journaled and thought about things in a while so um, I might try to do some of that today I told Clara that um, I bought these mini pies for us to try together but then they came and they're really really tiny and also I'm really hungry so I want to eat like one or two for breakfast but um, yeah so we're gonna do a little review later at her place but before we do that, I think I'm going to take like one or two just for my breakfast. Claire, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I hope you don't mind. I think I'm going to be trying the, the cereal pie and maybe the apple strudel pie. Haven't decided yet. <laughs> my family is so chaotic. Anyway, so I guess my very tiny breakfast is these two tiny pies, um, the milk cereal and key lime one. I've got my tea, so I'm gonna try the milk cereal one first. It just tastes kind of sweet, like condensed milk. I definitely do taste like the milky flavor, but it just to me just tastes a little, a little bit like sweet milk, which I think is the whole idea of that pie, but. It's just kind of plain. I don't think it's anything to shout about. I think it's okay. Okay, palette cleanser and then next pie. Okay, I'm really excited for this tiny key lime pie because Claire's helper used to make key lime pie for us all the time and it was really, really good. So, cheers. It's a little too tart for my liking. The taste of the lime is a little bit too tart, but it's very fresh. It's pretty good actually. That's how it looks inside. Not gonna lie, but I feel kind of self-conscious editing these videos just cause I don't usually film such an in-depth get ready with me. So I start with some primer and then I get my foundation on, just slap that onto my face really quick and then I powder up before putting on some eyeshadow. So basically I'm just dipping into the neutral shades of this palette from Tarte and I just try to slap that on in a way that looks decent and then I put on some eyeliner. So that's basically the full look and I finish it off with some setting spray before hitting right out.
They are kind of cute though. Where's the other one? Oh, I ate two this morning for <laughs> breakfast. I was like... Now I guess this might disrupt the aesthetic of this video and the whole like vlog type of it, but I just really had fun like reviewing pies with Claire and she said that she wants to be like a food reviewer one day, so I feel like this is the start. I don't know. My foot, I guess. Remaining in the box, we have peanut butter jelly pie, apple strudel pie, berry shoe pie, honey chrysanthemum pie, which I think is kind of interesting. Taro pie, which honestly looks like a bunch of squiggles. Wait, can they see? I think I'm even... <laughs> This is one. This one looks like. This one looks like, this one looks like a bunch of squiggles. I feel like I want to eat the ones that I that are my flavors at the end, uh -huh. so I have like the lasting taste. Mm -hmm. so that would be peanut butter, obviously, and cookies and cream. So that's like the last one. How about yourself? Because um, it's a democracy. I don't really care. I've had two this morning, okay. so. Taro meant to be. Uh, yam. It's supposed to be yam. So that's why it's purple because usually inside the sweet potato. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Taro is sweet potato. Okay, I'll try that first because okay. I'm a bit iffy. <laughs> it, looks, it looks interesting. <laughs> okay. Alright, first I need to bring up the camera. <laughs> this is the taro pie. Apparently, it is sweet potato. Actually, it looks kind of cute, like a little cupcake. Yeah, it's it got does. a lot of purple squiggles, some pink balls, shiny balls. Yes, you love shiny balls. Taller than it is wide. Wide. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Looks not too bad. Interesting. I did not expect that. But like, I guess that makes sense. Inside. That is literally how a pie Okay, works. yeah. Cheers. The thing that that was literally just carbs, carbs, carbs. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it would taste like just a cookie. It kind of feels like it could be a Chinese New Year goodie. You mm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I an almond cookie kind of time, but okay. not as crum crumbly. I don't know about you, but I could barely taste anything. Like that to me was just like cream, 100%. I mean, yeah. I think it's a subtle taste. Mm. Subtlety of flavor. I can taste a little bit of the sweet potato. Like, we have sweet potato another time. We need to cleanse our palate now. <laughs> I had I had tea this morning and I was like, okay, this is my palate cleanser. Okay, um, I'm not gonna lie, the peanut butter looks a bit dodge. Which is a bit Just because of the jelly, right? Oh, what should we have next? Um, mm. Okay, I'm looking forward to trying the honey chrysanthemum. Alright, we do can that try one. that. It does look, I think it looks really stunning. I think out of all of it, I think that's the prettiest one in my opinion. Kind of because I am a slut, I think we have to pick it up for the marble effect. Yeah. Can you get me a cake with a marble effect? We have a tart, we have a full size pie with the marble effect and it's actually quite nice. I've had it before, but it's not all that okay. worth it for the price, if you ask me. Oh! Ooh. Okay, the inside is an interesting color that's like kind of greenish. Ooh, that's really cool. So basically, like they filled in the top with like a yellow glaze but the inside I don't get is like it. What's the brown isn't both honey and chrysanthemum like yellow <laughs> you get very confused i think the chrysanthemum is in the below part like the brown part as someone who doesn't drink tea i don't know what chrysanthemum tastes like but to Floral. me again i feel like okay i like the consistency this is my great great bridge bake off <laughs> the yeah. consistency light and doughy it uh, tastes like very gooey like in the inside you yeah. get Look at us giving our opinions on pies like we know so much about baking and food and we really don't. If it it's wasn't a full pie size, the chrysanthemum flavor shouldn't be as strong. If it's a full pie size, you need it either to be savory or sweet. And this one, it's like, it's more like, it's a nice texture, I like the texture. And it's got just a bit of sweetness, so mm -hmm. it's not like just plain crust mm -hmm. also but there isn't really an overpowering flavor over that also I, I just think that they didn't actually use like normal chrysanthemum tea they use like the the powder mix kind so like the kind that you dissolve in water with po the powder expose them yeah the taste is too strong for it to be like normal chrysanthemum tea infused stuff like it absolutely is the powder version and they use it in their recipe so that's what i think okay next um, one berry Okay. Berry pie? Berry pie. Ooh, it's got sparkles. I don't know if you can tell. It looks more sparkly in the photo. Okay, so Ooh, the filling has collapsed. Oh dear. This me. is me on some- Oh. <laughs> this is me on some Great British Bake Off shit. Like, honestly, <laughs> I used to watch that thing. And it's like, there'll be like, the technical challenge where they, they're given a recipe. A very vague recipe. Very vague instructions. Mm -hmm. And they have to figure out how to make it. And then they will definitely check like, oh, has the filling like filled up the whole thing, or is it just oh, I think it's just meant to be like a it's like strawberry cream, mm. strawberry shortcake. I think that's the best one yet. It reminds me of like a like a strawberry raspberry like cream pie, like the filling you'd have in a macaroon. 
<clears throat> that I accept a pie. Okay, I'm going through to the heavy ones now. Not the uh -huh. heavy ones, but like the ones. I mean, there's still the apple strudel like. left. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, should we have apple strudel? And mm -hmm. then after that, mm. should we try the peanut butter? Because I feel like that's kind of a wild card. I feel like I'm gonna go for peanut butter, and then we go almond, and then cookies and cream. Sure, because I think cookies and cream are kind of like standard. Classic. If you yeah. mess it up. Okay, this one is cute because it has like a it has like a cookie on top, like so. That's that's the cute thing about it. I just wonder if you can see it. Also, our plate is looking a little bit mm, shabby now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so it looks like a Chinese New Year uh, biscuit to me. It does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, let me try to cut it. Okay, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Very generous with the filling. Yeah, and it absolutely looks like cream to me. Oh, the oh, bis the half biscuit. Of it. Okay. Eh? Mine is half like this thing. Yours looks a bit more solid. Ooh. Oh no, I think I just got most of it and then mine's hidden the, behind. Like so the biscuit on top is actually like puff pastry. So it's the apple strudel element I feel like. You know, cause strudel has the puff pastry. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's taste if this is actually I can taste very, very faintly the apple. Okay, I think these pies are well baked. Mm hmm They actually do not taste bad at all mm -hmm. but they are very subtle taste and me i like to go really heavy i like to okay, go well, like tell you, decadent tell you. chocolate really really sweet i know actually i feel like yeah. maybe that's where we differ a bit because i feel like i prefer the fruity like this, fruity esque ones yeah this reminds me this would be perfect in like high tea mm -hmm. reminds me of like chinese new goodies as well okay but I'll, I'll wait for us to like be done with this entire thing and then i'll, I'll tell you how much the entire box costs and you can tell me whether it was worth it or not okay okay so we have this one which Claire says looks a bit shady. It's the <laughs> peanut, peanut butter and jelly yeah. one. So it has like a whole like jelly Honestly, in the I middle. I really like peanut butter. Um, yeah, that's I definitely I thought, like, had a peanut butter addiction, which isn't a bad thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't have it as much anymore. But I used to have it like twice a day at least. I'm scared that like the jam is straight everywhere. out of the jar. It's probably not too good for you. No, it's okay. I get if you get the ones. Um, that are like pure peanuts, no sugar added, Ooh. and it's like it's pretty healthy. And I go for high on I feel peanuts, like this is a full which like peanut butter filling. Very hot or something. Like, I am wanting an overpowering peanut butter taste, but I'm guessing it probably won't be because the masses do not like that. I feel mm, it's not. I do love the consistency. Very mm. nice and smooth and creamy. That was not what I I was expecting in a good way. I really like that. Mm. I thought it was like going to be very very sticky like very strong very rich very sticky but it's actually more whipped like the peanut butter it has a whipped consistency to it i mean maybe that's what they did which is yeah which is pretty good like we're on to our like second last oh, one which is this, like you think that's chocolate at the bottom i mean it's an almond latte pie so i think it's coffee mm. yeah i kind of think i want to have this one last okay <laughs> you gave it that I feel like I'm making all the decisions it's here. It's cool, it's cool. Oh, is that chocolate? Oh. So that one is cookies and cream pie. Okay. Maybe we could cut in quarters and I'll have like... I'm joking. <laughs> Just do half. <laughs> Claire, it's already tiny as yeah. it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut it this way so we can both get like a half-half. Okay. We're on the cookies and cream pie now. And ooh, so you can see like the cookie bits inside. I mean, it does look a bit dodgy, but cookie and cream is literally black and white. When you blend that together, it is great. Yeah, it. Mm. 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 Tastes like cookies and cream. Pretty, yep. Pretty standard cookies and cream. Mm. Um. Not, not mind blowingly, cookies mm -hmm. and cream, but pretty good cookies and cream. Okay, last one. Okay, let me try to see how I can get this like, vaguely symmetrical. Okay, almond latte pie. Now, I am interested to see if this is actually just like almond filling or coffee filling or the coffee is the cream or whatever. But again- It looks like a bit of like jelly substance. Yeah, which is why I don't really get because that's a little bit like the honey chrysanthemum pie and I don't like that some of them are cream and some of them are jelly-ish. Well, you can't have them all the same. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'm just popping it in my mouth. Mm -hmm. The filling is coffee. Mm -hmm. okay. If someone brought this to a party, I would eat it, but I would not get seconds. <laughs> I would get seconds depending on what other fare is there. There's no other dessert than like, obviously I'll have a lot, but 
Okay. That's other desserts. We can do a full summary now, even though um, I bought this because they said that they weren't going to release another version of this again. Like, so from now on, they're not going to stock the mini pies anymore. But I'm going to review them anyway in case they do come out with them in the big sizes because they do the big sizes. So, um, okay, cereal milk pie would not have it in a full size. I've seen a lot of people order them for their wedding favors, and my question is why? It just tastes like condensed milk to me. Yeah. That said, yeah, these make really good, um, like, buffet kind of foods. Mm -hmm. Like, that I would shovel in, like, a few at a go. But because we only had, like, one each, so I feel like you don't really have enough time to, like, process, like, what kind of flavors are there, and they're not very strong either. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Peanut butter jelly pie, I would eat it again. Yeah, yeah. And I would eat it in a big size, too. Um, apple strudel pie. They could add chocolate within it. Oh yeah, yeah, like maybe like chocolate, um, like the chocolate bark, like sprinkle it in a little bit. Mm. If they could do the marble effect on the peanut butter and chocolate, and then somehow have jelly there, <laughs> that would be pretty good. I mean, you know, whatever floats. I've never had peanut butter in like dessert foods before. Oh really? Because I've always been like, how how does it go? Peanut butter brownie. But I no. guess they probably. Oh, I think I had. I think we made. I think a we vegan made one. ones. Yeah, we made yeah. a vegan one once. Okay. I remember we made avocado brownies, and you oh, and we they did. were like done with it, and we're like, yeah, one, and you're like, this is too rich. Why is it so hot in here? Yeah. Two. But you two. liked it. You liked I liked it. it, and I was like, I went hard. I went for like two or two and a half, and then like it all hit me at once, and I was like. Yeah, it was really sticky. It was like the really kind of like. No, it was really gooey. Yeah. Really melty, kind of like. Have we not properly baked this yet? But yeah. because it was vegan, there's no eggs, so you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Not being salmon, like that being salmon or whatnot. It was just so good. It was like a lava cake. We also did not Lots have an oven. Cake. Definitely feed you for forever because you can only have max like one a day before you die. That's that's kind yeah. of true. So it's like yeah. diet control, portion control. Okay. Anyway, this one apple strudel pie, I would eat it again. Um, would I have it in the full size? Yeah, I don't mind. And then. Tara one, not a fan. Tastes like nothing to me. Um, I don't know. I don't dislike it, but I'm just very neutral to it. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's okay. It's a very neutral taste. It's I would like order it again. Sweet, but not overpowering sweet. But it's also not much else. Mm -hmm. Honey chrysanthemum, I would not eat again just cause it's like, the texture in, in the inside is really weird. Like it's like kind of like a quay, like a like a jelly cake, but at the same time it's like um it's like bitter because of the strong chrysanthemum flavor. Yeah, which is artificial tasting, so no. And then the berry shoe pie. The berry was nice. It was nice. It I like that nice. one. I think yeah. that's probably like my favorite so far because I like I like um strawberry and raspberry curry. I never really go for strawberry anything, but that was nice. That's nice. Aria one was okay. Like I just thought it was it's fine. Pretty, pretty standard. Mm. Pretty standard. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What did you think about the coffee one? Um, the coffee tea was very very overpowering. Mm. Maybe they could have balanced it out a bit more. It would have been critical. Mm. But it wasn't bad. I mean, I'd say nothing here is bad. Yeah, it's like, not bad. These are bad. well baked pie, like uh, pies, tarts, whatever pies. they, whatever it is. Like they are well baked. They taste good. I am not yeah. a fan of you at all, Elijah. I think you've made some fine beauties. Yeah, very meticulous detail, but it's nothing like amazing. Yeah, I'm. I don't think nothing I would... orgasmic. You know, you just need that. For some yeah. reasons in life, you need that. Yeah. I've never seen your pies being so good. Oh, really? Windowsill pies? No. Uh, unless they're like the big, savory ones. Oh. Oh, no, I have seen some sweet ones, I guess. In the chocolate tart uh, by Old Fish Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So, I feel like that's more up your alley because you like, like chocolate. You like chocolate and you really like those. Very indulgent yeah, very indulgent chocolate yes, ones. Whereas that isn't really my thing. That is the yeah. key to my heart. <laughs> I like like um I think my favorite taste like in a pastry is strawberries and cream, and like as long as there's something, something along the lines. Some strawberry in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I've I'm talked about it already. It. Ooh. Um. Okay. So do you want to like put a price on the box, like on the whole box of the tarts? Like, like guess how much it was or how much I think it would be worth, or both. Okay, both. I think both. Um, yeah, let's do both. I would say, cause I know these are. Small, they are decorated, you know, it's got nice packaging, it's got a pretty low logo. Obviously, these aren't like your bread talk kind of parts, so I'm not slandering a bread talk, but I would say maybe it's worth 
like one dollar fifty a tart. So that makes up to like um nine times nine fifty. That's nine times what's fifty. What's fifty cents? That's times thirteen nine. fifty. I think. Okay. Yeah. Thirteen dollars fifty cents. But I'm guessing it's gonna cost more than that. Mm-hmm. So I'm this, guessing. This is Econ's working by the way. Like Claire's, Claire's Econ's brain is like to do it more than that. Got packaging. Got the nice fancy like uh name. What's card a punchy all. amount? Like a punchy. What's number? a punchy number? Is it in like the twenty something zone? No, you have to guess. Oh, I can't give you clues. I don't think it'd be above thirty. If it's above thirty, that's a bit. Mm. But your face seems to suggest it might have been. <laughs> you can't, you can't take context clues. Okay, like that. okay. Um, my gut is telling me twenty eight, twenty five. Okay, okay, that's not not too bad. Like it was twenty nine ninety. Pretty close. Pretty Do you close. think it was worth it? Um. Okay, wait. wait before that you go, that is more than hundred percent over. Yeah. What I had yeah. said, but. I would say for me, it's worth 150, but like with like papaya, but then also like I could stretch it to 29.90. To like is... two to two pound. Yeah. Two pounds, well, two dollars yeah. to two point five dollars per pie. If it was like, because I know like when you get catering for wedding party, you know, there is a markup, mm-hmm. and I can accept that. But this is like effectively double the price of like 150 per pie. Like it's like three dollars something for a pie, and it's like tiny. So. Personally, I don't think that that's worth it. I don't think I'll order the mini pie version again for that price just because it's tiny. But I, I don't know. If they make like some of them into big pies, then I wouldn't mind paying the full price version for the big pies, which are like around $52 per pie and it's like this big. I mean, there's a lot of other bakeries out there as well that, that do good ones and are, like not slender larger pies at all because I do love their big ones. But yeah, I just wouldn't buy the skin. Which is probably why they're phasing out their mini tarts because I don't really feel like they are worth it once you've tried it for the novelty. It's so. kind of like 12 cupcakes, not their cupcakes are tiny. I'm going to go bite size, they honestly have to be earth shattering like orgasms in a bite. <laughs> That's how I feel because it's like yeah, you're gonna be like it. wow and then you're just gonna be longing for more. And then you want to buy the have big more. one. Yeah. So that's kind of the end of our review. We continued talking for like quite a bit more, but pretty much that ends our review and I hope you enjoyed it. We had fun making it, so that's that. They look like pellets, which is kind of interesting. Ooh, look at that. Yep. Looking good. And this is the sauce. It's really thickening up, so it looks pretty good right now. Yay. I want to be like, look at us so domesticated, but also we literally just made hot frozen food, so... Um, how much of an accomplishment is that really? Oh, it's easy. Awesome. It looks good. Mm-hmm. It smells good too. It actually smells pretty good. Again, I want to say that we're like legit cooks, but we did just make this out of microwave food, so <laughs> maybe not. Okay, we're mo- watching a movie now, so we're deciding what to watch. Oh my god, Ooh, I only watched the second one, but anyway. Yeah, see you. Cool. Hey guys, I'm walking out of Clara's estate now and we finished a movie and it's probably one of the best days that I've had in a while. So I'm panting because I just walked up the stairs. Uh, But anyway, yeah, it was a really great day and I hope that you guys had fun accompanying me. So good night everyone. See you in my next one. Bye.